Guitar Hero rocked. The world of video games. Originally released in 2005, the game, which included a guitar-shaped controller, was an international success. But do you know what the Guitar Hero franchise was severely missing? The epic highs and lows of losing your bandmates, being behind on rent, and point-and-click adventure gameplay. Obviously. <laughs> Thankfully, Iron Roses is here to swoop in and fill that gap in the market as the first rock and roll adventure. You see, on one of my beloved trips to my local half-price books, I once again scoped out the PC game shelf to see if anything would catch my eye. Barbie Fashion Show tempted me. The Woman's Murder Club intrigued me. But Iron Roses caught my eye just as I was giving up on the shelf for the day. See, I was a huge fan of Guitar Hero 3. Legends of Rock. It was one of the first games I distinctly remember saving up for and buying, and the excitement when it arrived in the mail was like nothing else. It's also a game that frankly really influenced my taste in music, like Radio Song is still an absolute banger, and I think I got a lot more into the genre of rock in general because of Guitar Hero. So seeing Iron Roses, which has somewhat Guitar Hero vibe packaging, I was immediately intrigued and I had to pick it up. Iron Roses is a game that was released in 2010, the same year as the final mainline Guitar Hero game. The timing of the game is what I would consider to be like super unfortunate. By 2010, the hype and excitement around the Guitar Hero and kind of rhythm game genre was really starting to die down. Guitar Hero 3, released in 2007, was one of the best-selling games of all time? I'm pretty sure the genre of rhythm games was just becoming oversaturated with Guitar Hero and very various versions of Rock Band and the Just Dance series was starting to come out, so there was just kind of like too many options, and the problem with games like Guitar Hero is that in a lot of cases you wouldn't actually like need to buy the newer games. Like I felt really happy playing Guitar Hero 3 for like the 10 years that I had a working week. I played it years after the online community was dead and it would be me playing against someone who could play on expert mode and I could not play on expert mode and I got annihilated. But you would kind of hope that, you know, maybe Iron Roses would stand out in a world of rhythm games. This could be a strategy and plot driven game. It would be perfect, right? Well, 2010 is also when I personally started getting like really into video games. It's around that time where I started watching a lot of gaming related YouTube content, I saved up for and bought my PlayStation, and gaming was basically all of the media in my life, either playing video games or watching like reaction videos to trailers and things like that. I was super into it. So the fact that I hadn't previously heard about this is probably not a good sign for a game that came out during like my peak gamer girl era. Iron Roses is developed by Kateria Games, which actually still exists, which is pretty rare for a Thrift Games video. I feel like most of the games I've covered have been by publishers that do not currently exist, but they still do. They developed a number of different adventure games, including Tibor, Tale of the Kind Vampire, Hotel, which is a detective mystery game, and Where Angels Cry, which I just thought sounded dramatic and cool. They then kind of pivoted, I think in around like 2015 to more making mobile games and have since been purchased by the developer Playrix and they now exclusively make mobile games, which is interesting. I don't think I've personally played any of the mobile games they've developed, but like, I think that's where the money is, <laughs> so I don't blame them. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box here. I still have my sticker on it. Oh, but it's gonna peel off easily. Half price books, 10 out of 10. I feel like their labels are very easy to peel. Up at the top, it says live the dream and make the big time. Iron Roses, the first rock and roll adventure. Help Alex reunite the band and rock the world. On the back, it says help Alex reunite Iron Roses for a shot at the battle of the bands. Dreaming of one day making it in the music industry Alex is searching for her former bandmates to try to convince them to enter the upcoming Battle of the Bands. Do Battle of the Bands actually exist? Like still, this is gonna make me sound like so uncool for not knowing. I don't know my local music scenes. Track down their lost equipment, interact with intriguing characters, and use all of your problem-solving skills in this exciting, 
First, a rock and roll adventure game. So this is rated E, 10 and up with alcohol reference and mild language. I hope that means they can swear, but I guess we'll find out. Some of the selling points are there are more than 70 realistic locations to explore, dozens of mini games, from hidden object to puzzle to rhythm mini games. So just lays it out what we can expect. More than 20 colorful characters to interact with and detailed step-by-step -step tutorial and hint system. So hopefully even if I get stuck, we can play through it. Now this was originally, I think, developed for Windows XP, so it's definitely not the oldest game that I've looked at. Now, I did look into this a little bit online, and there is only one Iron Roses speedrun time listed, which means if I actually finish the game, I can <laughs> register as a speedrun. <laughs> so let's find out if I finish the game. <laughs> okay, let's unbox this baby. I actually haven't opened it up yet. Let me be frightening child vibes. You know, I worked a full day of work. I ripped the case. Now I'll never get my money back. My $4 back. I don't return these games, by the way, after I play them. I keep them forever because they now become, they become collector items in the Mary Love New canon. Um, thus I could never get rid of them. You know what? I think this has its original packaging on it. I think this is, I think this is its original tape. <laughs> I don't think anyone played this before me. Okay. Um, we just have some install instructions and the disc inside. So let's go ahead and we'll try and install the game and check it out, possibly speed run it. And then at the end, I think it would be fun to check out some reviews for Iron Roses. So let me go ahead and get the installation all set up. We got an installation. Accept the agreement. Sounds great. Have my soul. Run. Finish. Shit. Install the game anyways? Oh, sweet. It might work. Let's- everybody believe in me. I spent five dollars on this. If we combine our mental power, it should install fine. And then we can start the speedrun claw. No! No! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Close. Let's try it again. I have a feeling it'll work. No! The system cannot find the path specified. Where did it go? It's because I have too many files on my computer. Contact tech support. Do you think their tech support still exists? Okay. I'm gonna have to do this hard way. I'm gonna shut down my computer and restart everything. Just could just knocking stuff over. Auto run. Do it. 2010 isn't even that old. 2004. Maybe that is old. If I have to buy this again, I'll be upset. Okay, so what's happening now is I couldn't get a game <laughs> that I bought for four dollars to work. So now I'm gonna. I don't know what to do. Like the only places I can possibly get it are like the absolute sketchiest locations on the internet. It was on Steam? At the request of the publisher, Iron Roses is no longer for sale on Steam. Why? <laughs> Disappointingly short and easy. Screamingly dull. It's only money, right? The game is rubbish. I played it as long as I could, but the end is the only positive thing about it. A fine point-and-click adventure. I love point-and-click adventures. I want to play this so bad. Whatever it's doing is wrong. <laughs> I don't know why it wants to look in my saved games when I don't have a saved game because I've never played this game. Hello friends, it is future editing Mary popping in here to give you some super exciting news. Today, the day this video comes out, my collab with Sleuth Style also comes out. If you don't know Sleuth Style, they are an amazing artist that does different kind of mystery, detective themed artwork. So they have a number of artwork that's designed around Agatha Christie, Nancy Drew, Barbie Secret Agent, that sort of thing. I am a huge fan. I have many of their prints. This Barbie one is one of my favorites. Oh my god, I don't know if you can see it with, <laughs> with my lighting. It's so cute. I also have a Snuggly mug from the Snuggly Stew Style collaboration. And she 
wonderfully reached out to me about doing my own collaboration with her based off of one of the outfits I wore for my Secrets of Shadow Ranch streams. So this artwork is super cute. It is available on a variety of different things. I think it's adorable. So, you know, if you don't specifically want some Mary merch, it's just super cute in general as Secrets of Shadow Ranch themed, kind of Nancy Drew Mystery themed, or if you just want a cute girl in some cowboy boots and a cowgirl hat. Also, if you haven't already seen Welcome to My New Room, this is where all my future videos are going to be filmed. I've also started up streaming again. Streams should also start tonight, I believe, or on Tuesdays and Thursdays at around 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, depending on when I can get off work. All right, we're gonna go back into the video now, but be sure to check out Sleuth Style, not just my design, there are other designs as well, which I absolutely adore. And let's get back into the video here. What I've always feared would happen with a thrift game has finally happened. I tried everything that I know how to do to get this to work, nothing worked. And so we have our first failed thrift games. There was nowhere that I felt safe about finding it online and the developers have removed it from Steam, which feels like a solid message of please don't play this. So we'll never get to fully know the experience of Iron Roses. I'm not gonna get to speed run it, which was my dream for today. <laughs> my hopes and dreams. Um, I'm honestly really disappointed. I, uh, I was quite excited. I had high, high hopes, but that's part of the gamble when it comes to playing these older games. Some of them just aren't gonna work, uh, in the way that we think that they should. That's, that's just how, how it do be. So rest in peace, Iron Roses. You will be missed, but not forgotten. If any of you have some memories playing Iron Roses, please put them in the chat down below. It didn't get good reviews. It got really bad reviews. But I was hopeful because I love point and click adventure games. All right, I'll end it out with a song. Thank you all for joining me for this attempt to play Iron Roses and another episode of Thrift Games. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me as we attempt to play Iron Roses and it didn't work, but hey, that's the thrift game's way. But um, but up, ba ba. -ba. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here today. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like, subscribe if you'd like to see me attempt to play more games I get from the thrift store. I hope you all are doing well, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.